Next up, I'm going to show you how to uh, basically save and recall scenes. Uh, let's say you have a practice that goes extremely well and you love the sound of the, uh, the, t the worship team. You can always save a scene, that way you can recall it at a later date. Um, so we start up from our basic home screen. That you can get from this to anywhere on the board to uh, the scene screen by going to scenes and hitting view. And this takes you to the scene home page. And uh, you'll want to jump to the second page where it says scenes. And you can see we have a couple already saved. Uh, one of them says main mix, uh, acoustic set, uh, and then a couple that we saved uh, yesterday actually. So I saved them by date just so I know what I can recall and we'll see them uh, maybe a few months down the road. We'll have scenes from every date you know, we, we did. So I do this as an additive, you know, you save it once, then save it again, save it again. That way you're always building off of what you previously saved. It's also nice because you can go back, you know, two months ago and see how you sounded as opposed to how you sound now. So let's go from the very start. We go to View, Scenes, and you'll want to save um, using the second rotary encoder. And I'll save this one as today's date, so I'll scroll over here. And it is 2-20-17. And once you have your uh, name set and any notes if you wanted to, you can jump over to that over here by pressing select. Uh, you hit save, and then you have a recalled scene. So for example, if you wanted to load another scene, let's go to maybe the main mix, what we started with from uh, scene one. I'll hit load. I'll hit yes, and you can see the faders jumped to where the scene was previously set. So again, I'll go to our most recently saved one, hit load, yes, then we're back to where we started.